Hi everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts, and today I'd like to share with you a couple of cards that I've made with the stamp set Beautiful Friendship. And then today we're going to make this card, and it's designed after I made this card. So those are two of the cards, and I'll just show you the stamp set. The stamp set is called Beautiful Friendship, and it's a distinctive stamp set, photopolymer. So just by stamping it once, you get all the dimension as if you had stamped the card two or three times. And that's what I really love about this stamp set. So that's the stamp set we're going to be using. We're also going to be using this background stamp called Birch. And I was really sad when the wood grain paper was not in the new catalog because I love using anything with wood grain. So this Birch background stamp allows you to make this image on anything you want. So I think that's really awesome. And I'll just show you some of the other cards that I've made using this stamp set. So as I said, I really like it because of the way that it stamps the images. And also you can do simple stamping with just ink and paper. Or you can um, add some ribbon to make your cards a little fancier. And the, the um, sentiments are really beautiful too. This is so very happy to know you. And this is using that one of our new in colors called Seaside Spray. And there's a matching envelope. And I always like to stamp inside my cards as well. This is an envelope that goes with this card. And I got this design bought from Karen DeLotte. And she calls it an all-around card. I've never heard of that before, but it's really quite beautiful. You just stamp all around the inside and the outside, as well as all around the envelope. And I think that is just beautiful. And again, all it is is ink and paper. Here's another one, similar to the first one that I showed you, just using different colors. And here we're using Highland Heather. Here's another one using that seaside spray. Again, really just ink and paper and a little bit of linen thread. And I like to add vellum to a lot of my cards just to add that feminine touch. Here's one using Daffodil Delight, and I've also used a subtle embossing folder and again some vellum. It's just so, so beautiful. Now there aren't any dies to go with this stamp set, which is fine because it's very, very easy to fussy cut. And I'm going to show you that today in the card that we make. So here I've just done the background of the um, hydrangea and then did the flower in Rococo Rose, one of the new in colors as well added a little bow. I like adding bows to my cards. Here's a very soft, subtle one. Thank you. Again, just several layers. I've used the stitched rectangles and again a little bit of vellum and the subtle embossing folder as well. This one, again, just ink and paper, but the stamp is so beautiful that sometimes that's all you need. And I've used several different colors, Highland Heather, um, Gorgeous Grape, and Melon Mambo. And here's a couple where I've um, used a couple of different colors just to add a little bit of uh, fun to the card. So we've got Melon Mambo, Flirty Flamingo, and Mango Melody. And then I did two cards and just changed up the design and the background color just a little bit. So let's get started on the one that we're going to make today. We're going to start by using the Stamparatus. If you don't have a Stamparatus, really you need to get a Stamparatus. It is uh, a positioning tool that allows you to um, make sure that you get your stamped image crisp and clear and exactly where you want it and if need be you can stamp it a second time. But we won't be able to, we won't need to do that today because actually we're going to be stamping off a little bit. So this is just a regular card base, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. This is crumb cake, so we're going to use crumb cake for our base. And then this is Whisper White, five and a quarter by four. And I've already stamped this, so I know exactly where to put my piece of paper. There are little magnets in here that you can use, but I don't really think I need the magnets today. And I'm going to be using Sahara Sand because I want this to be really subtle and light on the card. And in fact, I'm going to stamp off before I actually stamp 
on my paper. And what that means is you ink up your stamparatus and it's a good idea to put something underneath. You can just use a stamp pad so that you're not pushing on the, the plate. And so stamping off means I'm going to stamp it once before I put my piece of paper. Now it might get a little bit of ink on the back, but that's fine because we're using the other side. And then I apply a lot of pressure. Make sure it gets a good even image. But the one thing great about the Stamparatus, if it doesn't, I can stamp it again. Although then I would have had to use a magnet. And there we go. That's perfect. So I'll get the Stamparatus out of the way. If you're doing multiples of cards, the Stamparatus is really an important tool to have because it allows you to create multiple cards quite quickly. So there I have my... Oh, it just fell on the floor. There I have my image. And the one thing about stamping with distinctive stamps, it is recommended that you use a foam pad underneath. So this is just one of our regular piercing pads. I put a little piece of paper on it just so that the ink doesn't get all over the pad. But if it does, you can just wash it off with um, water under the tap. And the colors that I'm using today are Flirty Flamingo and Granny Apple Green. For this card, I also used Coastal Cabana. So I did the first flower in Coastal Cabana, then added the Flirty Flamingo. That was the first card I, decided, I designed, and then I thought, hmm, I wonder how it'll look with just Flirty Flamingo. So that's the one we're going to do now. But just so you know, you can obviously use many, many colors. I was going to use Mango Melody as well, but I opted for this combination. I think it's quite pretty. So we're going to take our Flirty Flamingo and we're going to start with the large image. I'll just leave that there so you can see what it's going to look like. So the large image, it is quite large. Ink it up quite well. And I'm going to put that right in the center of my card. Give it a good firm press. Perfect. And then you can decide what other flowers you want to use. I'm going to use the smaller, I think they're roses. I'm going to put one up here. And you could also stamp off with these second images if you wanted to get more depth and definition. And then I'm going to use this smaller, it looks like rose buds. I do have roses in my garden, but apparently the deer really like them. so. They've managed to eat all the buds off my roses, which does not make me very happy, but that's okay. So we're done with that for now, and I've actually gone ahead and pre-stamped and cut the other ones that we're going to be using to layer it up. So now I'm going to add some of the greenery, and to do that I'm using Granny Apple Green. And in this stamp set, oh, I forgot something, it also has the little insides for the flowers. I used them on this card, but I didn't use them on this card. They would go there and there. I'll just add them. Some people add them with a different color. Some people add them with the same color, which is what I'm doing. Again, just gives it a little bit more definition. There we go. Now I can put that away. So next we're going to add, I'm going to add this little sprig leaf. And you just kind of play around and see where you might like it. This card is actually different than my last one, so that's fine. And this stamp, when you use it the first time, you might think you're using it wrong because it is lighter at the bottom and darker at the top, but that's the way it's designed, so don't worry about that, it's all good. Now I will add some three leaf stems. And again, you can add them wherever you want. It's really easy to add the photopolymer because you can see exactly where you're putting it. It's a little tricky because I have one on each side, but that's okay. And again, you see the definition of the leaves as well with this distinctive stamp pad, or not stamp pad, stamp. The stamp pad is just a plain stamp. And I think that's good because we're going to be filling in this area with our cutout pieces. So we'll just move that over to the side as well. I better close it. 
so now we have our base of our card which is going to go on the crumb cake it's really pretty this is Sahara sand ink but this is crumb cake I use Sahara sand because it's a little bit lighter so we don't need this mat anymore so we're just going to add some of our little flowers. So I've gone ahead and cut out the flowers. And as I said, they are very easy to cut out. Even if you don't like fussy cutting, they are easy to fussy cut out. And I'm just going to show you a little trick for cutting out any images um, that you want to add to your card. The first thing is you need really good scissors. These are the Stampin' Up! paper snips. And these are the best ones I've ever found for fussy cutting small areas. And the trick when you're fussy cutting is to move the paper as opposed to your scissors. I'm a former primary teacher, so I've done a lot of fussy cutting. So if you just move the paper instead of your scissors, it goes really quite quickly. It hardly took me any time to fussy cut out all of these images. So then you want to think about your design and where you're going to put things. So I think I'll put that one there. I already had some dimensionals on that one because I had it ready for the last card, but then I didn't use it. And even though it's a small area, I did put two dimensionals on just so that it would pop up nicely. And then I think this little one, I'm going to add a glue dot. So let's put that one first using a glue dot. Sometimes it's tricky to get them behind, so if I kind of know where I want it, I'll just slide it right in there. And then I'll be thinking about where I want my leaves because I might want to add some of those on top as well. So I'm going to have one of the three leaf stems over here. And then this little one that I just cut out, I think I'll put it right. One thing about paper too, you can put things over and under. So I kind of like that. All right, let's see how that's gonna look. We might need to move something around or maybe add, I think we need to add one more leaf. Remembering you can go a little bit off the edge, but not too much because then you will be outside of the card area. Okay, we're just gonna add one more. And I'm gonna do this one with glue. I did this last time, it worked pretty well. Just because sometimes the glue dot sticks not exactly where I want it. And the other thing you can do is just cut your ends a little bit longer so it makes it easier to tuck them inside. I'm gonna tuck this one right here and see how that looks. Okay, I like that. We could add more, but Sometimes less is more. So I'm going to stop there. Oh, and then my bow. So the bow is made using the flax ribbon. And what I've done is just taken my snips and cut off the edge. And then I'm just gonna pull a couple of pieces off. And I have this one that I cut off. And when you have a really thin thread like this, linen thread or ribbon, it's called twine. Sometimes I like to do like two or three strands so it makes it a little more substantial a bow. There we go. Just going to trim that so it's all the same size. Add a little glue dot. Hmm. I think I'll put it kind of in the same spot. And then I'll just take my Tombow glue or you could use snail whichever you like. I've used Tombow more now because I like that I can reposition it a bit if I don't have it exactly where I want it. There we go. All right, that was quick and simple. So there's our second card and here's the one that I made using Coastal Cabana and Flirty Flamingo. So what's your vote? All one color or a mixture of color? Or as I showed you on this one, many colors. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for stopping by. You can visit me at my website, www.maryannecowan.com, for more inspiration and card ideas. Thank you and have a great day.